So I know that we all look at those pictures of those big messy buns and we think, oh, we would love to have those. Oh, I want those. But my hair's too short or my hair's too thin. Name your reason. But just because your hair is short or just because it may be thin or fine or whatever it is, you can still have that big messy bun that you always wanted. And I'm gonna show you how. So welcome to my channel. I am Ali Lili Okolani and I am all about sharing quick and easy tips and tricks for cute hair when you don't have that much time. So today I'm going to show you how to transform this tiny little knot into that big messy bun that is just so cute and we all want to have. So the key and what we have to have today is extensions. So if you don't have a set of clip-in extensions, you will want to invest in a set. These things can make all kinds of hair dreams come true. They just really change the game for a lot of the challenges that we face in styling our hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this sad little guy out because I don't wanna see him anymore. Okay. So my hair, for one, it's super dirty today. I love to do my buns on dirty hair days because it's one of the best ways to hide dirty. And when my hair is fresh and clean, I like really take advantage of wearing it down and flowy. But when it's dirty, I love to have it up. And one of the few things I've missed from my really long hair is the big buns that I always wore. So. I'm gonna show you, if you have the shorter hair, see my layers are very short. If you have short hair or thin hair, this is how you get that big bun. So first I'm gonna start by parting this out. I'm gonna pull this forward, I'm gonna pull this forward, and then I'm gonna take everything back here and pull it up. Okay, for this part, so you just need to make sure the front is hanging, and then I'm combing all this back really high. I like my buns on top of my head. I like them way up here. So I am combing all this from the back half into a ponytail. So I'm using this ponytail holder, and I am securing this way on top of my head. I'm gonna be using three different tracks of hair. Now, if your hair is longer, just maybe a little too thin or a little too fine for um, the big bun, you may only need to use one track or maybe two tracks. You won't necessarily need to use as many tracks as I'm using because of how short my hair is and not only how short, it's very thick and very coarse. I have to use multiple tracks just to make sure it blends. It's actually a lot easier to blend more fine hair than it is to blend this thick, coarse hair. To start, I'm gonna grab my track. If you've never used them before, they have these little clip combs. So what you do is you leave it open, you slide it into the hair, and then you snap it shut. And then that keeps it tight on the hair and then you snap it open to pull it out. So I'm going to clip this around my ponytail. So now I have a little bit of ponytail going on. Now I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of hair, drop it over that and clip the next row. And when you're clipping them on, try to keep them as close to the ponytail as possible so that they're easier to hide. You don't want them like so far away that once you wind your bun around, um, that they're still exposed. You want them close so that they're hidden under the bun. Now I have all this hair up here and I'm gonna push all this back. So I'm just gonna Put a little tease in the front because I like them 
I like my buns looking loose and messy and I don't really like the tight ballerina looking buns. This tease will also help, especially if you have fine hair, it'll help thicken your hair up so that it really hides the tracks. Okay, I'm just very lightly combing this over. Once it's just a tiny bit smoothed over so you can't see all that tease, I'm going to grab it all up around the first ponytail. I'm going to grab another rubber band and I'm going to secure it. So now I have all this hair and before I do my bun, I'm just going to pull a little bit of these out because I like it nice and loose looking okay so then the fun part i'm going to take all this hair and just comb it up tease it up make it nice and full and for anybody who already has really long thick hair this is still key to get that big messy ponytail i'm sorry it's still key to get that big messy bun. <laughs> Unless you wanna wear this, very 80s. Okay, so once I have this big old ponytail, it's all teased, I'm gonna grab all this hair and I'm gonna twist it, not tightly, I'm gonna twist it very loosely and pull it around into a bun. Now it's big, it's loose, but I want it to stay big and loose. So I'm just going to grab my bobby pin and I'm gonna just grab the edge of the hair and tuck the bobby pin under. So again, I'm not grabbing a lot of hair. I'm just grabbing the edge of the hair with the bobby pin and tucking that in. Okay, so something that I always do when my hair is up is the shake test. I shake it to see if there's anything loose that might fall out like before my day is done. And this piece right here was wobbling a lot. So I'm just going to tack this piece down. I'm just going to put the bobby pin around it and just tuck it in right there. So now that it's secure up there, I'm just going to loosen a little of these pieces that got a little um, tightened when they got, they got a little pulled on by the bobby pins. And I'm just going to let a little bit fall around my face. So that's it. That is all there is to it. The trick is those clip-in extensions and teasing that ponytail up before you wrap it around. And it's like night and day. Like that bun before was itty bitty and now it's just this big old cute bun and it has so much more style to it. And I love it. It's like my old long hair buns are back. Shoot me a question or a comment and let me know if this is helpful. If you have any questions about the clip-in extensions, um, I know if you've never used them, they might be a little daunting, a little scary, but they're really so simple. I will link a couple different brands. So in case you guys are really like, I have no idea where to start. Um, I will put that information, just click the info, the bio, and um, there will be links there to sort of help you out just to give you an idea. 
So thank you for coming to hang out with me today, for watching and for sharing this time with me. I hope that you are able to achieve the big buns of your dreams. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe because I have new videos coming out every week and I don't want you to miss them because they might just be the styles and the tips that you're looking for.